for us. You can see this wall is actually the one separating us from Kipera. This was built for security, but you can see that it's becoming now the major, major, major danger to the people living below us because this wall is somewhere like at 20 feet above the lowest uh, of the buildings now in Kipera. So if this wall collapses, and you can see the, the thickness of it is not more than about uh, five to six inches, and it's all concrete. So we fear that this can cause a very severe disaster. And that is what we want to, to ensure that uh, we are helped to uh, prevent. The <laughs> Wacha hii mvua yenye imetangazwa kwa sasa. Wakati mwingine ikinyesha hiyo udongo huu vunjika ikiteremka chini. E, na saa zingine ikipata mto, mtu ama mtoto inaweza e, mfinyia chini hata kafa. Na kwa sasa vile vingine wametangaza kutakuwa na hii mvua tunahofia bado ukuta. Especially wakati tutakuwa shuleni labda mvua inaanza mchana. Sasa with the wall leaning and we are, it is built right on the edge, it doesn't have a real proper foundation. There's a committee members with the permission of the city council that set it up several years ago. But later on we have tried to uh, get uh, some funding from the city council to help us uh, do a proper wall. Yeah, we, proper care and the proper, particular proper foundation and the thickness so that it has the, the stability. We have so far not managed to get uh, that kind of help, but we, we are still haven't given up. Yeah, so we are still hoping that uh, as, as the city council promises us, something will happen. But the problem is now that uh, Nino, some say we we'll went from uh, like tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, that, that becomes now a major problem because so do what, what time do we even have to, even if you got the fans tonight? There's no miracle that uh, we were able to.